2007 Honda Accord. We got a no start. Sounds like they diagnosed it down. They were saying maybe the brake lights were sticking on. So we're gonna check the brake lights, check the brake lights, check the brake lights and find out what's going on with this thing. It's likely it's the brake on off switch underneath the dash down here. Follow your brake pedal, follow the arm up. And if you get this panel out of the way, it'd be a whole heck of a lot easier. So I'm gonna pull this panel down here in a second and uh, investigate the brake on off switch, otherwise known as the boo. And I ain't talking about your baby's daddy's almost gonna be your baby's daddy or, you know, it, this is a boo, brake on off switch. Let's check her out. All right, so first things first here is, gonna jump the battery, get a charge back in the battery so we know that we have power at the battery. And then I'm gonna come in under the dash here where I exposed my brake on off switch, pull this down out of the way. Um, and the brake on off switch is under there. So, screwed in? I don't think it's screwed in. There it goes. No, it's not screwed in. It's just clipped in. So, all right, so I'm gonna bring into the dash. This harness here plugs into this plug right here. This plug, that's your brake on off switch. This little white piece here at the end of that, that's like a plunger. And as I press the brake, you see that empty hole there. Um, something is missing, so it's unable to operate. You see, I'm supposed to push the brake. The brakes would come on. When I let off the brake, it pushes that plunger inside and turns it back off. That's not working, so we're gonna get it repaired. All right, so that's what we were after. Um, essentially what happens is this piece here goes in and out and that turns on and off the brakes. On the pedal, um, there's a section where this rests against it and as you press that brake, that action happens. The plunger still seems to be operating, which likely means the switch is still good. It's just not making contact on the brake pedal side. Imagine this being the brake pedal here. Essentially, this is how it is. On, off, on, off, on, off. Let me show you what we did to fix it. Basically, I bring a different array of push plug. So essentially what has happened is this piece rests in the brake pedal, actually turns on and off the brake. But because it rots, you see it's just like a goobery piece of flexible plastic now, it breaks and falls out. Typically you can find them on your floorboard or they rest in the belly pan that's up here. And uh, if you see these pieces in your floor, sometimes they're yellow, sometimes they're bluish black, sometimes they're kind of like a white color. Um, essentially you probably, and your brake lights are staying on, you probably have this little tiny, it's like a six cents piece, it costs about six cents. And uh, that's what's causing your brakes to stay on and killing your battery if your brakes are staying on. So just keep an eye out for that. That's likely your issue. So what I did to fix it, just to save some money and time, is just use a uh, push clip, like I said, and this particular one, anyways, you see the end of that green there and as I push down on the brake, the white comes out. And as I let go of the brake, the white goes in. That's the plunger that actuates the brake lights. So the brakes are now on the switch comes out, the brakes are on. I let go of the brakes. The brakes should now be off. The switch goes in, it depresses inside the plunger. And that's what shows the brakes whether to come on or off. So we've just put that piece in there. If it works, it works. You got the cables, got cables. All right, we got jumper cables. This battery is extremely dead. So it was on for over 24 hours with the brake lights depressed. So it drained the battery entirely. We're gonna try to jump it off with the old, uh, oh, you've already seen this video. That's the old Econo line. So we'll get her hooked up and see if we can make it work. Do you have any more questions about your automotive needs? Tune into my channel and I'll do anything I can to help you guys learn more about these vehicles and create some passions because that's what this is all about for me passion Enjoy this